all right so i'm gonna show you how to install spostify there's two ways to do it the first way is using powershell and the second way is using an easy installer the first way you go to this link right here i'll put all of the links that i'm using in the description by the way once you're here at this link click install now and then under windows installation click copy you open your windows powershell right click enter And once that's done installing, you come back here, you copy the second script, right click, enter. And as you can see right now, it's not installed, but once this is done installing, then it should be. Yep, it reopens it and shows, there you go, you got marketplace now. So that's how you install Spice to Fire using the Windows Power Show. You can uninstall it by going to uninstallation, copying this, coming over here, and then right clicking, paste anyway, and then it'll uninstall it. Or you can manually uninstall it by going over to File Explorer, coming here, percent app data percent. If you didn't use the PowerShell version of uninstalling, there should be a folder that says Spicify. Just delete that folder. And then come over to app data again local scroll down and then as you can see there's a, there's a folder right here spicify just delete that and then you manually just uninstalled it but you'll have to reopen spotify again once you do that though you're finished if you want to install spicify using the installer that i made just come here click this link the latest releases and then spicify installer does it install that hit save it's gonna pop up a thing saying that it's blocked because it's an uncommon file meaning that there's not a lot of people that have installed it before so just click continue download and then it'll install it once it does you open that up right click it and if you're not using winrar just click extract all but if you are and if you do have winrar or sevens just hit extract to specify Go here and then before you open the .exe up, you want to open uh, your Windows Virus and Threat Protection. You want to go to Manage Settings, Add or Remove Exclusions, click Yes. Click Add an Exclusion, click Folder, and then click Spice to Find Installer and hit Select. And then you want to click add an exclusion, hit file, and then do Spotify installer.exe. So once you're done with that, just open Spotify installer. And it's not installed because, you know, I uninstalled it just a second ago, as you all saw. Click install, and then it'll install for you. It might take a minute. And there you go it's installed click ok and yeah now you have it installed and everything now i'm going to show you how to uninstall it it's super simple you just click on install and it'll uninstall it there you go and then i'm also going to install an older version of spicetify to show you how the repair button works all right so i installed an older version of spicetify the latest version of spicetify right now is version 2.24.2 I have 2.23.2 installed and you can see what version you have installed by opening Windows PowerShell. Once you open Windows PowerShell, just do uh, spicetify-v and then it'll show you 2.23.2. This is the version you have installed right now. But 2.24.2 is currently the latest version. To update it, all you have to do just click repair and then it'll update it for you. Click OK. There you go. So how you can tell if it updated or not is basically do the same thing. You just do spice the five dash V and 2.24.2 is your version that you have installed now. So that's how you install Spotify, update it, and all that stuff. I hope you enjoyed the video, and see y'all later.